the third gen Ryzen processors are finally here. Okay, we have been waiting for it for a long time and after you know a couple of delays and then after they have to fine-tune the first and second generation, finally the third generation is here. So this is the R7 5800X. But is this processor just marketing or can it actually deliver the goods? Well, let's find out. Hey guys, this is Chester here. You guys are watching our channel at Chester and Unboxing. Today, we'll be taking a look at the all new R7 5800X. So, with the 5, they actually skipped one number from the 3 to 4 to 5. Yeah, but we have what we have here is a beast of a CPU. This is an 8 core 16 thread processor with the running on the TSMC 7 nanometer process. Don't forget, this is running on the AM4 socket, which means that your existing uh, 500 series bots will run, uh, most of them, will run on this processor. Most of them, you just need to uh, add and BIOS update and you'll be good. Alright, so uh, let's open this up. As you have seen in my previous videos, usually what we do is we review the second gen ones, which by the way, they are already amazing on its own. So the second gen Ryzen processors are already, you know, they're already very good in terms of productivity, performance, uh, especially multi-threaded workloads. But the third gen Ryzen takes it a notch higher by making it even better, by, by making it run even faster than Intel in games, which by the way, Intel has traditionally honed the performance crown. So anyway, back to this processor. So something new to this generation is that they do not come included with the cooler anymore. So back in the first and second gen, uh, whether you're using the R3 to the R9, uh, usually they'll bundle in a cooler. With the advent of the third gen, anything above 65 watt TDP processors, uh, it will come just the CPU alone. So saving money right there. So uh, yeah, so what you get right, the box looks big, but actually is Just a space. The actual, yeah, actually, like, that's it. That, 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 that's it. You get that. That's it. <laughs> it's just an empty box. Over here comes standard with the certificate of authenticity. Authent, authent, nah, whatever. Lah. Okay, and uh, what's this? Important, please read. 5000 series uh, contained in this package is compatible with AM4 circuit. Yeah. That's not what we're here for. So we are here for to look at this particular processor. So as with all the previous generation ones, they come with the sticker, you know, to show off like, woo, I want the R7. Yeah, and also the uh, chip itself. Okay, so this particular chip has a 3.8 gigahertz base clock with up to 4.7 gigahertz boost clock. So take note that the boost clock actually varies based on your temperature, on your power, uh, how much power is uh, available to the processor. All right, so uh, it has a 105, 105 watt TDP. So do take note also the way AMD and Intel, uh, they run, they, they, they state their TDP values are very different. So for AMD, the 105 watt, it means at its max. So which means at 4.7 gigahertz, it, it draws 105. So pretty transparent there, right? For Intel, if they state 95 watts, it means 95 watts at stock. I repeat, stop. So, uh, there has been reports that their 11, 10, and 11 gen processors they draw up to 255 watts of power. Yeah, gross. Yeah. So do take note for that. As with the second gen, this actually runs. This actually has PCIe 4.0, PCIe Gen 4, uh, which means your fourth gen solid state, uh, fourth gen PCIe uh, solid state drives will run on their max speeds. And last but not least. Yes, this we have been. Why why is the market so enthusiastic about this? Is because of its nineteen percent IPC improvement. IPC meaning the uh, instructions per cycle of the CPU. So what that means is gen on gen compared to just the second gen, the third gen Ryzen processors have a so much more improvement. And the best thing is they have the same TDP and they have the same seven nanometer. So how do you do it? Kudos to AMD and their R&D process. Alright, so let's open this up. So, as with all processors, uh, whether it's it Intel AMD, please be careful. You don't want to bend anything, especially the pins. So, the pins on the AMD uh, processors are actually on the chip itself. So, if you can see here, 
uh, if you can if I can zoom in here, yeah, the, the pins are actually right there. It's a very 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 fragile. Alright, so please do not handle it like you don't touch it like that. Please touch it by the side so that you don't want to bend the pins accidentally. I mean, especially because this particular chip is so expensive, right? Alright, so uh, yeah, this is the processor itself. So pretty standard uh, AM4 package. So it is the same size as all the previous uh, generation processors. Alright, that is actually uh, sums up our unboxing and first look at the AMD uh, Ryzen R7 5500X CPU. Like this video if you liked it, subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so yet. I'm Chester, that's all for today, see you guys.